Happy video day, guys. Today, I'm going to be bringing you guys another makeup review. We're gonna be talking about the new launch from Natasha Denona. You guys know I love myself some Natasha Denona, so right when I heard she was releasing lip liners, I got super excited. I wanted to pick up a few to just give them a go, see how they worked, test out their formula, and that's what I did. I did pick up two different colors from her new range. There is eight different colors inside of her new lip liner collection, so we're gonna go ahead and try these two out together, give you guys my thoughts, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a fun tutorial on how to get this smoky, vampy look for New Year's. I'll also be sharing with you guys at the end of the video, as the background music, my rendition of War Is Over from John Lennon. I asked you on Instagram if you guys wanted me to share my second song that I recorded, and you guys said yes. So I decided to work it into this video at the end. So if you guys wanna check that out, it will be at the end of this video. So let's go ahead ahead and let's jump into everything about the new lip liners from Natasha Denona. Let's see if they're any good. Let's test them out together and let's get into so it. So let's first start off with what Sephora says about the lip liners. They're lip defining pencils. It's a variety of different shades that she came out with and they're from nudes and pink undertones and they're supposed to kind of match with her best selling lipsticks that she already released. So on her website she is doing something that she was kind of like telling you which liner matched with which lipstick in case you guys wanted to know. So it's cruelty free and it does say that you get the intensity of a lipstick in a convenient pencil format for high precision lip definition. And the innovative packaging and formula allow for a smooth easy application of color with a matte finish. These lip liners are also 22 US dollars and available at Sephora in eight different shades. So I'm going to go ahead and link them down below in case you guys are interested. So that's the basics of the lip liner. So these are supposed to be creamy lip liners, $22, high intensity, all of this good stuff, but are they really? Let's try it out. When you guys get them, they do come inside this nice brown cardin from Natasha. It's a very modern, sleek design. I've seen her come out with this before. I feel like, was it the Zendo palette had a similar packaging? I think Zendo had a similar packaging to this, but it looks just like that. And then when you pull out the lip liners, the lip liners are actually really pretty. If you guys see, it has this nice brown tone to them. On the bottom here, you're gonna get which color. So you do have this nice line here, kind of like eyeliners do, so you know the color, that's great. It does say that I need a nude on it, and it does say the color. Where does it say the color? And then here on the side, it tells you, here on the side, it does tell you the color you got. So like I said, I picked up two different colors, one in the deeper section and one kind of towards the lighter. And yeah, those are the two that we're gonna be trying out today. And I already tried them out for you guys and I'm gonna tell you guys, I really think that they're very nice, creamy lip liners. I did not have a problem with them at all. They are more creamy than any of my other lip liners that I own in my collection. They remind me more of like a lipstick liner hybrid. Very interesting formula. I love the way that they glide. I feel like they're very easy to use. That being said as well, because they're so creamy, you have to be a little bit more precise with them. If you try to overline your lips a little bit, I do think because of the creaminess of it, it can kind of get a little bit into lines. So I would definitely say this is more of a lip liner that you wouldn't overline your lips too much with. That's my personal experience with it. When I accidentally overlined my lips, I didn't love the outcome as much as when I lined my lips perfectly. Of course, that's gonna be personal preference. I personally am gonna say that I love the formula of these. I love that creamy feel. I also feel like these are gonna work really nice just spread on the lips alone. I think that they're a very, very nice formula. So let's go ahead and let's jump into me trying them out. I'll show you guys the two different colors and how they perform on the lips. All right, so she released eight different shades. I picked up two of the eight. The colors that I picked up are Naya or Naya and Julia. So there's two colors here. They're the two colors that I could tell from the website that looked like I would like them the most. I'm excited to try them out. So I'm kind of a snob when it comes to lip liners. I don't like many. I don't like many. Um, Wherever Walnut from Makeup Forever is like my go-to lip liner. It's what I wear like 95% of the time. It doesn't even matter what lipstick I have on. I usually put that on because lip liners, I don't know, sometimes they're too dry. I just, I'm a big pain with lip liners. So I'm excited for Natasha Denona lip liners because you guys know I love Natasha. So this color right here is the first color 
looks promising. So this one right here is actually called Julia. Julia actually looks like it's a lighter tone. So Julia is described as a neutral pink. I did that on purpose because I wanted to wear this with nude lipsticks and I was hoping it wouldn't be too dark. Actually, that looks like it could be pretty amazing. And by the swatch, I'm kind of excited. I love the creaminess of this lip liner right now. Hopefully it translates that great on the lips, crossing my fingers. The other color I picked up was Naya. Now, or Naya, N-A-Y-A. Now this one I picked up on purpose because I have this beautiful color called Sammy from the Natasha Denona range of her lipsticks and I felt like I don't have a good lip liner for it. So this one is considered, so this one is described as a neutral beige. So let's see what this one, ooh, that looks like it could be good. Okay, so that one also looks really nice. So hopefully, so Naya is, Naya is this one right here. I'm gonna start off with the darker one and I'm gonna mix it with Sammy because I am going to end this look with a lighter lipstick. The two I Need a Nudes that I have from Natasha Denona are actually Sammy and Allison. So these are the two colors. I feel like I color match them pretty good to the colors that I have here. I do know on Natasha Denona's Instagram, she was putting which lip liners can match with which color lipsticks honestly didn't even look at that. I just kind of like guess based off of the color descriptions, but if you guys want to have a better idea, you can do that. So Sammy looks like this. So sorry, but Sammy was also used as my daughter as a crayon, as well as my Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk. I know I had to clean them off, but they're so creamy that they don't really fix up too well. But let's go ahead and try this color Naya on and let's try it with the color Sammy. And then we're gonna go for a very nude look with the other colors. So let's start off with this one. I'm very, very excited. I know it's just a lip liner, but you guys who are like me, who are very picky with lip liners know this could be a huge issue. So let's see. First thing I noticed, extremely creamy. Oh my gosh, it's so creamy, it's almost like a lipstick. Okay, so this is what the color is. It's very deep, it's a very deep color. This is probably gonna be beautiful on deeper skin tones or if you're a lighter, medium, like I'm a light, medium skin tone, if you want something really rich, this is gonna give you a really rich look. But so far, I like the color and I like the lip liner. It's looking like it looks really, really nice. Because it's so creamy, Oh no, one of my lights is about to go out and I don't know where to get replacement lights. That is going to be terrible. But um, it's so creamy. Because it's so creamy, definitely watch out when you're lining your lips. So if you have the smile creases, be a little bit more careful when you're lining your lips because it's so creamy. I don't know if it could a little bit run. Right now it doesn't look like it is, but let's try it on with Sammy. And by the way, I love the color Sammy from her range. I just think it's such a cool color. It's like, to me, it's like super 90s. So there we go. This is the lip liner Naya with the color Sammy. So I actually really like this combination. I think it's a really cool look. It's deeper. It's a little bit more vampy for me, but I wanted something a little different. Also, what I think that this could work really good, this color actually could look really nice if I have an extremely nude lip and I want to deepen it out a little bit. These are the type of colors I would grab for to kind of outline the lip and mix it in with the lipstick. I like to kind of like color, I like to correct the colors of my lipsticks with lip liners. Not only to like kind of just shape the lip, I like to correct lip colors. I'm actually excited, I really like this. I think this could be a really cool look. Even if I didn't have something super dramatic today, today we're going a little dramatic for New Year's, but if I didn't have such a dramatic eye look, I'm sure that this would look super, super cool. So. I'm obsessed, so far so good. Let's go ahead and try on the one that's a little bit more neutral, a little bit more pink, and let's mix it with a nude lipstick. Okay, all right, so now let's go in with Julia. Okay, so this one is Julia. Only thing I'm noticing is if you're somebody who likes to overline your lips, 
technically usually do not do that, but I did it by accident today. So, you know, if you make it by accident, you gotta do it on the other side. So I kind of had to do that. And I do notice like, you know, a little bit where I have a little bit more roughness. It is kind of like skipping a little bit, like maybe getting a little bit in the indentations of the lip because it's so creamy, it's going into every little crease. However, I typically don't overline my lips. So if you're somebody who likes to overline your lips, just think about that. This is extremely creamy. It's almost like it feels like a lipstick. I love that about it. I know some people don't like really creamy lip liners. So if you're somebody who doesn't like creamy lip liners, these are very creamy. I love that. Now the lip color I'm going to use is not from Natasha Denona. I'm so sorry, Natasha, but I wanted to buy a color from Charlotte Tilbury and I went to Sephora and got Nude Kate. I've been dying for Nude Kate. My Charlotte Tilbury collection of lipsticks is growing quite big. I'm obsessed. I honestly think her lipstick formula is the best in the world. So I think I wanna get like almost every color. This is like almost so nude that I'm like almost obsessed with it. <laughs> like seriously. So now what I would do with the lip liner like this one to kind of, because it's such a new lip color, I like to outline a little bit more, give it a little bit more tone, not too much, because I want it to stay nude, but let's see if it works. So this is the color Julia with Nude Kate. Okay, so I actually really like this color combination. I love the really, really nude color with this more neutral pink lip liner. I think it does an awesome job together. I really love the combination. I feel like now I'm missing a color from Natasha's lip liners. I almost want one that's a little bit more of like a neutral nude, like in between these two colors one that is just smack in the middle. I think I'm gonna pick up one more. So obviously guys, if I'm saying I wanna pick up another one, you guys know I actually really like this. I think it's very, very creamy. I think it feels really nice on the lips. I'm somebody who loves creamy lipsticks. I love creamy feeling on the lips. Anything that just does not feel like it's drying out my lips, I love. So for me, I think that this lip liner is a win. I also feel like somebody who just likes to put on like a wash of color and maybe just wants to use the lip liner and just smudge it out on the lips, this would be beautiful for that. Let me see how it compares to my... I feel like the Makeup Forever one, which would be the last color right here that I swatched, so that one is my Makeup Forever. This one is a little drier than these. These are probably the creamiest lip liners that I own out of every lip liner that I have. These are probably the creamiest. They remind me of like a lipstick pencil hybrid. I like this because I like a nice creamy lip liner. So definitely it's gonna get a win for me. I like this product and I wanna pick up more colors. So let me know down below if you guys picked it up. What were your thoughts? Did you guys like this? Did you not? Leave me your comments. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. So now we're going ahead and jump into the tutorial and some entertainment for New Year's. All right guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do this dramatized, very smoky eye. First thing I just wanna tell you guys before we get into the whole tutorial is typically I like to use browns with blacks for smoky eyes. So I'll show you guys the palette I'm using and how I'm gonna create this smoky eye. Like I promised you guys in the beginning of the video, I was gonna share with you guys the second song that I had recorded for my father for Christmas and it's the John Lennon um, War Is Over. Quickly, I just wanted to say like, just like Merry Little Christmas, which I told you guys when I did that song, it had a meaning for me, especially since a lot of us aren't with our families right now. And War Is Over was the second song I decided to record. And it just reminds me so much of what's going on in the world and how we can just like kind of hope that things are going to get better as time goes by. So either way, this is gonna be my version of it, my quick little version. I don't record these tracks professionally, but I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into the eye look. So this is Christmas and what have you done? Another year over and a new one just begun. And so this is Christmas. I hope you have fun. The near and the dear one, the old and the young. A very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Let's hope it's a good one without any fear. 
And so this is Christmas For weak and for strong For rich and for poor ones The world is so wrong And so happy Christmas For black and for white For yellow and red ones Let's stop all the fight A very merry Christmas And a happy new year Let's hope it's a good one Without So this is Christmas, and what have we done? Another year over, and a new one just begun. And so happy Christmas, we hope you had fun, the near and the dear ones, we hope